GPT-4, Grok, and Gemini all have one thing in common. They're not free. And I don't mean free as in money, but free as in freedom. Not only are they censored and aligned with certain political ideologies, but they're closed source, which means we can't use our developer superpowers to fix these problems. Luckily though, there is hope, thanks to a brand new open source foundation model named Mixtral 8x7b, which can be combined with the brain of a dolphin to obey any command. By the end of this video, you'll know how to run uncensored large language models on your local machine, with performance approaching GPT-4, and also how how to fine-tune them with your own data, making AI so free that its mere existence is an act of rebellion. It is December 18th, 2023, and you're watching The Code Report. A few months ago, OpenAI CEO Sam Altman said that it's probably impossible for any startup to compete with OpenAI. It's totally hopeless to compete with us on training foundation models you shouldn't try, and it's your job to, like, try anyway. I, I, think, it, I think it is pretty hopeless, but... However, last week when Google announced Gemini, a French company Mistral simultaneously dropped a torrent link to their brand new Apache 2.0 license model, Mixtral. The company behind it, Mistral, has been around for less than a year and is already valued at $2 billion. It's based on a mixture of experts' architecture, which is rumored to be the secret sauce behind GPT-4. Now, it's not at GPT-4's level yet, but it outperforms GPT-3.5 and Llama 2 on most benchmarks. It's very powerful, but most importantly, it has a true open source license, Apache 2.0 allowing you to modify and make money from it with minimal restrictions. This differs from Meta's Llama 2, which has often been called open source, but that's not entirely accurate because it has additional caveats that protect Meta. But despite all the horrible things Meta has done over the years, they've done more to make AI open than any other big tech company. The problem, though, is that both Llama and Mixtral are both highly censored and quote-unquote aligned out of the box. Now, that's probably a good thing if you're building a customer-facing product, but it's utterly impractical when trying to overthrow the shape-shifting lizard overlords of the New World Order. Luckily, it is possible to unlobotomize these AIs. There's a great blog post by Eric Hartford that explains how uncensored models work and their valid use cases. He's the creator of the Mixtral Dolphin model, which not only improved its coding ability, but also uncensored it by filtering the dataset to remove alignment and bias. As you can see here, I'm running it on my machine locally, and it's teaching me all kinds of cool new skills, like how to cook or how to do with a horse. And it even improved my coding skills by teaching me how to infect a Windows machine with a keylogger in Python. Pretty cool, so let's talk about how you can run it locally too. There are many different options, like the Ooga Booga web UI, but my personal favorite is an open source tool called Olama, which is written in Go, and makes it super easy to download and run open source models locally. It can be installed with a single command on Linux or Mac, and you can run it on Windows with WSL, like I'm doing here. Once installed, all you have to do is run Olama serve, then pull up a separate terminal and then use the run command for a specific model. It supports the most popular open source models like Mixtral and Llama 2, but what we're looking for is Dolphin Mixtral Uncensored. Keep in mind it needs to download the model, which is about 26 gigabytes. In addition, to actually run the model, you'll need a machine that has a good amount of RAM. In my case, I have 64 gigabytes, and it takes up about 40 of them when running this model. To use it, you simply prompt it from the command line, and now you have a powerful LLM without the normal safety guards. That's pretty cool, but what if you want to take things a step further and fine-tune a model with your own data. Sounds complicated, but it's actually easier than you think when using a tool like Hugging Face Auto Train. To use it, you simply create a new space on Hugging Face and choose the Docker image for Auto Train. That'll bring up a UI where you can choose a base model. Not only can it handle LLMs, but it can also do image models like Stable Diffusion. I'd recommend choosing one from world-renowned model trainer The Bloke. Now, it is possible to run Auto Train locally, but you probably don't have enough GPU power. However, you can rent hardware in the cloud from Hugging Face. I'm not sponsored or affiliated with them, and you can also do stuff like this with AWS Bedrock and Google Vertex AI. To give you some perspective, the Mixtral Dolphin model took about three days to train on four A100s. You can rent A100s on Hugging Face for $4.13 per hour. Four of these times three days comes out to about $1,200. Now the final step is to upload some training data. The format will typically contain a prompt and response, and to make it uncensored, you'll need to urge it to comply with any request, even if that request is unethical or immoral. You might also want to throw in a bunch of esoteric content content from banned books and the dark web. Go ahead and upload the training data, click start training, and a few days later you should have your own custom and highly obedient model. Congratulations, you're now the last beacon of hope in this fight against our metamorphic lizard overlords. Godspeed. This has been the Code Report, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.